what was your biggest barrier before the program? What was stopping you from starting your health and fitness journey? Um, well, being a busy mum, I've got four kids and run a home-based um, childcare business from home. So finding the time to actually put in some fitness into my life was, was really hard. Going to the gym wasn't an option. Um, and starting work really early and finishing really late and then falling straight into my family time, I just, just didn't have time to fit it in. Didn't yeah. think I had time to fit it in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it mm. is the reality is when you're overwhelmed and, you know, you've got four kids or, you know, we've even had mums with eight kids on the program, the reality is is that you don't even want to look anywhere because it would be too overwhelming. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, um, like... You know, were there any other things that were stopping you? Were there like, you know, were there things that you didn't want to give up because they were making you happy, like, you know, carbs, alcohol, sugar? Like, were there things that you were just turning to as an emotional crutch? Yeah, I was I was a big drinker, um, pretty heavy on the carbs. I actually thought I had a really good diet. Mm. Um, I was in, under the impression that I ate really, really well um, and that to lose weight, I had to do hours and hours and hours and hours of cardio. Wow. Um, Obviously, what the program taught me was that I actually wasn't eating very healthily and the alcohol was a huge hindrance in my weight loss and in my happiness um, and my family's happiness as well. So yeah, um, they were definitely um, big barriers for me. And I think for many mums, because alcohol is something that, you know, switches everything off and it's like that sense of, oh, I can relax now, it's the end of the day. And unfortunately, the next day, it's not. It's actually a depressant and we, you yeah. know, we don't handle um, our stress, you know, stresses that we can, you know, the, the kids, um, you know, when our kids are in arguments, everything seems more overwhelming because alcohol actually intensifies, intensifies yeah. that. Um, and, you know, even personally, I've been there, you know, years ago, I, I completely understand it. But when you give up the alcohol and or not give up, manage, or you know, you look at anything that's stopping you from moving forward, you can handle your kids arguing better. You know, you can get on top of your health and fitness. And um, you know, it's kind of a, a knock-on effect.